this is part two to your personal read because I'm preaching it. <laughs> you have no idea how cathartic these readings are for me too. Um, you know, these are messages that like I'm channeling, but it's also from my intuition and from my experience. So it's helpful for me to, to remind myself things I've learned and like, man, I had a second to like go back and listen to the last thing I said because um, I wanted to make sure I'd pick, uh, pick up in the right place because uh, the recording got cut off. And um, I was just saying, and I'm like, man, I, I actually personally really resonate with this. Um, you know, you have the ability to create joy and create bliss in your life and it just takes practice. So, you know, if you're feeling just depressed and you're feeling hopeless and stuff, like just remember that's part of the journey. And especially it's like normal to react to this crazy stuff that happened between you and this guy. It's normal to react this way and to need time to heal. And sometimes life, that's just how it goes. So stuff happens. It's like intense. Like you, you grow through it and, and you heal and, um, you know, but it's about what you're going to do to move forward now. You know, how are you going to move forward from this? Because you can't stay sucked down in this. You know that. And it's, I'm glad you reached out and, and cause you know, I can feel, I can feel where you're at. You're not the kind of, you're a gentle person. You're not the kind of person to like really admit how bad this is, but it's, it's intense. And it's like, I feel like this is like what happened between you and this person is like just intense. So, um, they're saying go outside and like, remember like, you're part of this world and this beauty and like you have the ability to create it in your own life. And it, and it really is just a matter of practice, you know, and the pra a lot of it happens within your mind. You know, that's what this card is saying as within, so without, um, it's a lot of mind work you're going to have to do. And, um, that's why I'm recommending the therapy or maybe just really, um, doing a lot of writing and, and um, art, making art and trying to really process these emotions. Because no one really teaches you how to do this in society. Um, <laughs> and, you know, how to, you know, really feel your emotions and how to utilize them and like what they're for. And like, I want to do a lot of teachings on that because it's so important and like, how to balance them. And it's just our society likes to pretend like it just doesn't exist and it can be confusing, you know, um, when you don't learn a lot about that. <laughs> so, um, maybe look up information on like your emotions and I, I'm going to link you to some stuff below. I'm going to have a whole bunch of stuff to link you to. Um, now next, <laughs> like, where are we? So your current lesson Okay. Now this isn't about perfection, but I'm getting this vibe and I encourage you to meditate and do some exploration on this yourself because I feel like only you can truly understand what the lesson in this whole situation is, but I'll tell you what I'm seeing here. Um, I feel like only until you, until you find that unconditional love for yourself the same unconditional love that you have for this person and that you have for others because you are very this is like your gift like you're a very unconditional loving person until you can find that for yourself it's going to be hard for you to find a partner it's it's going to be hard to attract that into your life and i do see a partner for he you here in the future it could be this person um i'm not to say um but i think that what you should focus on is the unconditional love for yourself. And I see this a lot in love readings. I've learned this from the cards, actually, that, you know, you know, the more you love yourself, you know, authentically and unconditionally, the more love you can have for others. And that, that's what makes a harmonious relationship. When you don't truly have that self-love, then you end up going out and inflicting hurt and pain on others. And so I feel like life is a journey, you know, inward you know, towards more self-love, towards understanding yourself and others, um, among many things. But this is what you're at the part in the journey. You, you do understand others. You're very empathetic, but now it's about you understanding yourself. This is about you now. This chapter of your life is all about you. But there is great love and a reunion in your future. It, you will come to peace with this person. 
there is a resolution that you know you don't have to worry about that you're not going to be left hanging here and also there is a person out there for you because you desire that you want that connection and it is coming to you now um they're saying open to receive <laughs> stay focused on your rebirth <laughs> i keep saying that over and over. look at this focus on your rebirth over and over and over yeah so open <laughs> open to receive that i feel like you got that message now i don't think we need to go over that anymore hope if i haven't already here's some more hope for you They're just saying stay dedicated to your path right now and find creative ways to move forward. Do you see how she's throwing out all these arrows? She's tried all these ways and she keeps missing her mark. But now she's trying another way. She's taking the arrow and, and using it like as an instrument almost, like a bow, like to play beautiful music. And she's moving forward and um, it seems like there's an air of abundance around her. So I feel like this is you. They're saying like have hope because even if you have all these arrows that have missed their mark, you never know. You just try one more way and somehow it works out. And so they're just like, try, just keep trying. And, um, and they're saying that that, like, if you just kind of open yourself, get more creative about how to move forward on this path, you'll be led to, um, your truth. Um, this is all about you. Like I said, this chapter of your life and you're being led to your truth. Um, you're being taken right to the root here. And, you you are an empath you have some type of gift like you have a message you have something inside of you i'm not quite sure how this is gonna manifest like i don't know if you're gonna be the kind of person that's gonna be like a speaker or a singer but like this has to do with your throat chakra and that's very creative so you know a lot of times i get these cards for people who are an artist, you know, and um, writers, draw people who draw. Um, so maybe you 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 write or you work in some type of like entertainment industry or something like that. I'm just seeing like you in your career um, are gonna get to this place where you're a lot like softer and you're a lot um, more open, and it's gonna be easier for your truth to flow. Cause you know you're going through a lot right now. There's some blocks. Um, but the path forward, it wants to lead you to this beautiful, look how beautiful, oh my gosh, this drawing is. I'm just like, dang, that symmetry on this person. Um, you know, just beauty and harmony and grace and wisdom and like, she's like the queen, you know? So I just feel like that's you in the future. I feel like you don't see yourself like that. Um, you see yourself as very meek and you know very insecure and you know all of us we have that side i have to say we all have that but um i feel like insecure a lot <laughs> i don't know like it's funny actually i was one of my friends saw my readings and was like wow like you sound so confident and i'm like i don't know it's weird it's like just part of it like this i don't know it's part of I consider this kind of like a performance art too so i'm like it's kind of part of it you know <laughs> the performance i guess but um i feel like you're going to be able to like kind of perform your art in a way too and be able to pull up your inner strength and do things you never thought you could after this transformation um and i don't care how old you are where you're from what your background is what your situation is you know you can evolve to a really beautiful place um, I just think there's a little bit of work that needs to happen here. And so, um, you shine, you already shine. I mean, your light is shining, but you dig deeper and you're going to shine bright. And, um, one more word of hope for you. They're saying, don't, this is, have I gotten this card for you before? I'm just going to read this to you because this seems to be the message out of all of this. Don't be so hard on yourself. You are being reminded of all the amazing things you do have to offer this world and are being gently nudged to start or finish that project. Write that song, make your masterpiece, and live your dream. Maintain your innocence and gentleness so you don't have to let go of that side of yourself. And if anyone's ever made you feel ashamed for that side of the, yourself, then whatever. Don't just forget it. 
because your open heart is a gift you share with others. And you have the opportunity to bring a lot of abundance into your life simply by just being who you are. And you got to find your way to do that. And you're already on the path and you've already done that in your life. You can look back and see times that you've kind of, you've done that. So it's all about going to the next level. And um, this is just a deeper awakening for you where you're at in this life. And this person in this situation is part of the, the catalyst for that in a way. So um be hopeful here. I don't want to tell you like it's over between you and this person, but I think you're really just going to have to let go, um, at least for now. And um, I think I know you like are really into the whole twin flame thing. So I know as part of that, there's a there's a part where you have to surrender. And I think that's where you're at. And um, <clears throat> the perception stuff, you know, if you can find a way to get to peace over this, then the situation will change. And like I said, I do see a point in your future where perhaps you and this person can have some type of reconciliation, whether it's just in meditation or actually in real life, because I think this person's been kind of hard on you, harder than he should have been, but I think he's just trying to protect himself because of this healing he's going through. And I think he just thought you were kind of like the others, other people that have tried to stalk him and like be all weird like that and I don't think that you know you guys had this connection and like stuff and you guys I remember you talked told me about that that walk you guys went on and like all this stuff so I just think he's afraid to get close and it has nothing to do with you and it's like you're not the person to like heal that for him or like I don't think you should reach out and like he's gonna he's getting healed like the universe has got him you just have to trust that that he's safe and that um, there's a reason for all this, you know, you got to focus on your growth, your growth right now, because there's some really cool stuff like this is what you're becoming. This is who you are because healing, healing is revealing, you know, you're already healed. You're already whole. You're already complete. So I think, you know, do a little bit of healing slash revealing about the truth of who you are. And, um, this situation is going to clear up. So have hope. This is not the, the rest of your life isn't going to be like this. And things aren't really so bad right now, you know. Why not laugh at yourself and, and laugh laugh at some of this? Because it would make a really good movie or book, huh? <laughs> All right. Peace out.